Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Clark. I'm sailing vessel Temptress. We've been living on our boat here in the Dominican Republic for the last eight months. And here's what the last month has looked like for us. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Clark. We opted out of a typical American life to live more independently, frugally, and off the grid. We currently travel the world aboard our antique sailboat named Temptress. Each month, we sit down to tell you where we are, what we're doing, share the best and worst moments, answer questions, and tell you exactly how much it costs us to live this life. This is our adventure log for March 2021. Clark is still sick. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, this has been a unique month for us. Um, unique in that it hasn't been the greatest month. Uh, Emily had that hospital visit, picked up something. I caught it from her. It hit me a little harder. So this is the first you've seen me on video since the last adventure log where I was coughing, and I'm still coughing. But in the middle, I was really coughing. Uh, that other video of me is pre-recorded, you know, from before the sick. Uh, I've got this lung thing, and sometimes when I get sick, it really affects my bronchial tubes, and I just, I had to lie in bed and try not to cough and try to breathe for a month, so I didn't do a lot that was adventurous and outward, uh, but uh, you do, you do did, some cool stuff. You did what was important, which was taking care of himself <laughs> and uh, being a mad scientist and inventing yeah. new things. I want to show that right away. Jump out of it, because I'm so excited. I... Uh, did that Hulk thing, that uh, lithium hybrid, uh, hybrid lithium charge controller, and I sent it out to a board house. This is something I've never done before, but the last contract I took, being a real engineer, they made things like this. They were actually, uh, you know, much more complex, and they were like graphics devices that ran around in drones for the military. But I learned a lot from those guys, and I realized I knew enough. And this, it just came yesterday, late yesterday. I haven't had a chance to do anything but open the box. But this is a little microprocessor and everything else needed to control the uh, charge sources. It'll come in a little box. It's made to fit in a box special. So I'm going to solder up two more parts onto it and then um, test it this afternoon. I'm very excited. So this is what makes our um, lithium and lead batteries combine in a way that we can charge them both optimally. Yeah, doesn't look like there's much, but uh, that's a microprocessor. I'm a software engineer, so it's really all done in software. So uh, there's actually a lot on this little board. Mm -hmm. Okay, got that out of the way. <laughs> it's like Christmas. I've been just anxious. I got delayed and delayed and delayed. Sending it out was delayed because of Chinese New Year. Like they weren't going to do anything for two weeks or something. So I just had to sit on it and wait and obsessed and I get it all right. And then uh, when it arrived, it arrived here at Easter. So same thing. We didn't get to deliver for the longest time. Mm -hmm. So Clark's happy. I'm happy. He's still a little sick, but he's happy. And um, I've been getting out a little bit more. We've been going and getting <coughs> uh, takeout pizza sometimes. I've been playing music with friends aboard friends boats and also at our restaurant here called Chelsea's. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a jam session every Saturday. So we're like slowly. And games, 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 games. And games, yes. Making and playing <laughs> games uh, online with the game design community. So, yeah. So we're easing back into normal yeah. life. Hopefully we will get our tans back and not be so pale. <laughs> We've just basically been inside for two months, which yeah. is not very fun, but it helps us save money. Yeah, oh, okay. well, sort of it does. We're <laughs> so not out spending money, but um, we are shopping online a lot. <laughs> We're lying True. on the guy. Our budget every month is $1,000. Uh, we decided to keep that going this year, and this month we spent $745. That included $220 in groceries, $36 at restaurants, $44 for alcohol for a total of $300 for food and drink, uh, which funny enough is like our budget, like $300 a month. <laughs> um, and then we've got household expenses of $27, $51 for phone and some phone cables and things, 15 bucks for water, $60 for our mooring, $100 for maintenance, which was, uh, we bought some new lines, some new Dyneema, and oh, right, right. Uh -huh. um, some polypropylene and some other things. Uh, health, 115, including 60 some dollars for our health insurance and some lots nice, of cough drops. Lots of cough drops, <laughs> like giant bags of cough drops for Clark. Um, $33 in entertainment and computer and Wi Fi, 35 
dollars. Mm -hmm. So that is our expenses for this month. So we're well within the budget. Our monthly average for the year is right here because <laughs> I didn't do it. And our total for the year is here because I didn't do it yet. Uh, but I'll put them there in the editing process. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, uh, what other news do we have? Well, I think it's going to be a short log because there wasn't a lot going on. Can you yeah. think of anything? What's your favorite thing for the month? Uh, best part of the month is you feeling better. Yeah, it, it was just like yesterday, the day before, where I felt I could get up and move around and mm -hmm. not cough. I took a shot at it last week and I kind of muscled through it and chatted with friends for like a couple hours and came back and went right back into it. Yeah. So I'm still going to be a little careful. Yeah, the hard thing for him has been when he's feeling better, he needs to still treat himself like he's sick for another few days and then go back into trying to be a normal Yeah, human I've had being. this all my life. I just never had it associated with such a bad cold flu, whatever you want to call it, that we have. We haven't been tested, so we really don't know. We mm -hmm. still have to treat it like we don't have it. We still have to mask up. Of course, you know, anyway, you just for social reasons, you need to, so you don't yeah, look like yeah. a pariah. But we... You know, we still have to be careful because we don't really want to bother trying to figure out how to do a test from here. Mm -hmm. There should be, there's some test available if, yeah, we'll have to look into it. Yeah. And, and I think we'll get a shot before we get a test. Yeah, I think it'll be easier to find a shot. Yeah, the shots are coming out, so that should come soon. I guess the worst part uh, are the growth here in the harbors, really gross. Yeah, our dinghy and, won't blight anymore and yeah. I'm in no shape to go down and clean the bottom. So we're <laughs> going to actually have to haul our dinghy out of the water this month and crunch off all of the seafood buffet that's underneath there and uh, try to get that running again. I've been failing to lift the motor up sometimes so our propeller gets full of stuff too. So one of the downsides of being here in Loop Around, there's a lot of upsides, but the water is <coughs> just not very good. Yeah. So yeah, but we're feeling a little better, I think. Uh -huh. Better than last month. So that's our monthly log. And I guess we'll talk to you guys soon. If you guys have questions or ideas for videos this month, leave them in the comments. We always like to talk to people and get new ideas. Well, we have another bad news for us, but good news for you. I have a leak in the refrigeration system I have to deal with. I just been topping it off because I've been sick. So really soon I'm going to have to tear the whole fridge out, fix the leak. I think I found it. Put it all back in. I'll video it, and this will be a video on how marine refrigeration works. Ooh. This is something that even <laughs> if it doesn't cool. wildly interest you, it should interest you a bit if you're thinking at all about sailing because these things fail a lot. It's really hard to find someone that knows how they work. Uh, I know um, I'm busy with people saying, Clark, could you please fix our fridge? Uh, knowing a little bit will maybe let you say, hey, I could do that because, you know, anything yeah. is doable. And troubleshooting. But it also will let you say when the guy comes by and says, oh, you need a whole new system that's $3,000, you can say, no, it just changed the filter. Mm -hmm. And um, it'll, it'll, it's like going into an auto mechanic saying, I don't know what's wrong. You don't want to be like that. So watch the video. Uh, if you're going to have a boat, you should, you should know how fridges work. Mm -hmm. I'll try to make it interesting, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll add some fun animation. Yeah, yeah. So... Cool. All right. Uh, anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, thanks. Uh, we'll talk to you next month. Bye. When we met, we knew that we did things differently. But with no regrets, both living life authentically. So we packed up this antique boat to make a life upon the sea. adventure